could go to the back of the book mm -hmm. and he could see what his outcome is going to be. Mm -hmm. Big homie told me, oh man, you're gonna get cars, you can get cars, you can get houses, you can get cars, yeah. you can get girls. And that's what I bought into. Yeah. <laughs> because the guy we dealing with in the street got a gun. Well, it was tough at times. Mm -hmm. You know, you have ups and downs and, mm -hmm. and highs and lows. The rapper who was using your name, how do you feel of what people using your name and your likeness for their own personal gain? How does that how does that make you feel? A lot of these rappers are not living the life that they're rapping about. You actually lived. Yeah. Their money really didn't come out of the streets, you yeah. know. They, they, they got their money from Universal Music Group or Def Jam or, <laughs> yeah. or Capitol Records. Or being a correctional officer. Or being a correctional <laughs> officer. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> correct. <laughs>
you know, when you look at shows like Snowfall, mm -hmm. and I wonder why would they tell a fake story mm -hmm. when they could tell a real story? So, mm -hmm. so people could really see the whole ins and out about what happens. Mm -hmm. And the same things with these rappers, they only rap the, the good the part good of part. it, yeah. you know, because they never experienced the bad part. Yeah. You know, they didn't get their money mm -hmm. out the streets. Yeah. Their money really didn't come out of the streets, you yeah. know. They, they, they got their money from Universal Music Group or Def Jam or, <laughs> yeah. or Capitol Records. Or being a correctional officer. Or being a correctional officer. <laughs> Absolutely correct. <laughs> What's next for Mr. Freeway Rick Ross? What is something that you're working on next and it's something you're looking forward to in this next chapter of your life? Well, you know, I just opened up a dispensary in L.A. So, wow, so I didn't know that. What's the name of the dispensary? Freeway Rick's Dispensary. Oh, beautiful. Matter of fact, go on it, Google and give me a Google review. I Absolutely. need five stars, everybody. Five stars. Leave, we're going to leave the link in the bottom of this. So I did that, uh, uh, underfunded. Beautiful. I mean, I did it the same way I got into the dope game. You know, just go for it. Go for it. You know, and that's what we do so often when we in the streets. We just go for it. Yeah. You know, but now when we get in legal business, we, we get scared. We, we, we don't want to move. Well, and one of the reasons is because now we got to deal with people that don't necessarily look like us that we're not used to dealing with. Absolutely. They kind of speak a little different language than what we speak, Absolutely. but we can't be afraid of them. We should be more afraid of the streets. Absolutely. Because the guy we're dealing with in the street got a gun, you know, but we're not scared of the guys that carry the guns. We're scared of the guys with the pencils. Right, right, right. You don't let that go over your head. Mr. Freeway Rick Ross, it's an honor to meet you, brother. Thank you so much. He's a great guy, man. I got the chills, man. This is probably one of my favorite interviews I've ever did. And um, he's really down to earth, man. He gave us his time. He's over here selling his books for less than what it is. He's, he's real, real down to earth, real people, people of the, you know, people of the person of, person of the people. I can't even speak. I, one of my favorite shows is Snowfall. And he just told me 90% of it is fake and fabricated on his own life. Um, but make sure you cop his book. He tells you, he's going to tell you his life. Look, you might sell the dope better, but he's telling you what comes with it. You know, and, and, that, and that's amazing. We outside, VOL, Fully Loaded Podcast, here to here first. You know how the fuck we move. And shout out Slim, I love you, bro.